You have a very gorgeous and raw space, and I think we can add a little touches here and there and really turn it into an elegant winter wonderland. Ooh, fun. Oh, I love, as long as it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg. He's being tasteless, we're very rich, don't worry. Plus, if I were to lose my legs, I wouldn't be able to dance, and I wouldn't want to live if I couldn't dance. It's my passion. Okay, well, I, if you love dance so much, why don't you marry it? I wish I could. I ah. wish I could leave you and marry dance. I really do. Uh, I hate it here. I got me. But I am very good. Um, would you want to see my move sometime? No, I, no, I don't want to see that. I have a painful relationship with dance. I'll just say it. My husband shot me in both of my feet in 2017, and now I can't dance. That's nice. Can oh I talk to you for God. a second, please? That was very recent. We're still together. Wow. It sounds funny, though. It, it was really funny at the time, but now I regret it. I'm going to get to work. I don't like the way you're looking at our event planner. Are I think you're flirting with her. I'm just looking at her. You're like ogling I do. her. I'm not ogling her. I'd like to show you some of my moves sometime. Well, you know what? I bet you would, mister. I want her out of my house. You tell her to leave. I will tell her to leave when you learn how to trim a fucking Christmas tree. Are you fucking kidding me? Now I'm stressed out. Now I need a brewski. Are you happy? Well, I'm all done. Ah, corn, huh? Wow, you're good. A lot of people don't know this, but corn lasts all the time. <laughs> I don't mean to pry, but is everything okay? I know that things can be weird sometimes when I start a new job and there's a man around because I'm a beautiful woman and you know men can't resist the smell of a woman's. What? You know? Are you gonna make? I don't know if I know what you're saying. Are you gonna make me say it? My. The smell of my. Oh God. Well, you know, it's not even that. It's just a hard time of year for my husband and me. He's back and forth to Hong Kong about eight or nine times a week now for finance reasons, and mm. it's just stressful. I have a finance husband too. <gasps> no. Yep, and he loved money more than he loved me. Shut up. Yeah, and that's, and he left, basically. He's gone all the time, and that's why I do this. Unreal. We have so much in common. We have almost nothing in common. I don't Just, know. No, very little. All right, enough catfighting. Scooch, scooch. OK, we actually weren't catfighting. We were forming a powerful female friendship. And you know what my new friend Patty told me? I don't have to put up with your bull crap anymore. You have to choose between me and finance. I'm not spending one more Christmas Eve on the Delta website, hoping you're not in the middle of the ocean. Oh, so now it's up to me to teach you how to refresh a web page? Okay, I'm sorry, I don't want my husband to end up in a castaway situation. Oh my god, I love the movie Castaway. I also love the movie Castaway, and we're only allowed to watch it once a year on Halloween because she considers it a horror film. Okay, a man crash lands on a desert island and falls in love with a volleyball with a face painted on it? Horror film! Sometimes I wish that you were a volleyball with a face painted on it! Well? Looks like my work here is done. No, don't go. Please stay for the party. That's very nice of you, but I have a Christmas-themed gender reveal party to go to. Cute. Oh. Right? Uh, if it's red, it's a girl, and if it's green, it's a boy. But regardless, there are only two genders, and there always has been, and there always will be. So, well, unless you count the third gender. Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's a bathroom. That was cute. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.